Just wanting to find out from you, Smu, what has been the reaction on the ground in Duncan Village? Uh, we do understand, obviously, we know that yesterday uh, the president gave his very much anticipated and very much awaited address to the nation, everybody hoping for uh, an end to uh, the lockdown. What is the sentiment on the ground? Have people's expectations uh, been met? Now, Duncan Village is one of the most densely populated areas of East London. If you recall, when the lockdown was declared by the president, afterwards the Minister of Human Settlements, Lindy Wessisulu, mentioned a number of areas that were considered to be densely populated and that would require um, some deep densification. Duncan Village was counted as one of those. This is one of the poorest communities here in the Eastern Cape. There are about over 80,000 people who live here and most of them live in informal settlements around here. Now, there are challenges that communities are encountering and we do know that also um, there were some regulations that were relaxed, particularly those that impact on poor people and that includes um, things like hawkers who initially could not trade but then they were allowed to trade. But Dangan Village has a question, actually a unique um, problem because where we are, we are on Douglas Street, which is one of the busiest streets um, around here. And there are a number of ladies here who are uh, in different spots along this road who are traders that are selling millies. And they actually were talking about some of the issues that they are encountering and the problems that they are getting um, from the police. So we were talking to them about some of their experiences. I'm going to now walk home, go walk across um, to chat to some of the ladies about some of the and problems that they've encountered around here. Ma, unja ni ma umse benzo kwa sisi dunao nge experience ya kujenga mtengi sante kuyole le lockdown. Nama police ni sebenza nje. All right. Si sebenza ngombo na tu mama au sebenza ngombo na. Ndi lapa estrato ni e Douglas. Inde yenzi kwa yuo si tengsa umbo na masi tengsa lombo na out umaspara masi na utengs umbo na of way. I picked in the quad, but I was better corner. But if you permit, I can sneak. Got a permit to go in Nigua businesses, Tile, as in your mother Pega and Jenny restaurant as Tengis and us. But hey, the best bambil, high police station, Miss Banshee, we want to abandon the Banshee. Satis house boozle and get it even in a permit. What are my two things? Umbo no shaza, sing out pig. Nam shanja sivelo funi pemi tu kumas para zombo no shaza singa upeke utazi. Koto nje mandi abone ni akubeka ni apeka nje. Ba ya akubeka si apeka kuba stengse la bala pinche ni asu tengse eight town ngoku sifunu tengse umbo na su tengse eight town su tengse ushaz agasti ki pemi. Kwangu imini inzle utengi sili utengi sana mimbo na minga pi kunja ningo kunja ba kuko le lockdown. Sila ba ape swine asna ma lingo ba kuko le lockdown ni kwa ba galoka stengi sana mbona sisi sabando na bed watu angogo kwa squares ba kisi sabando na bed ngo ba asna ma. Okay. Wena ma na we mukewe watete ele utete ba umbona wakuye watete ama police kwa ustaze. Edne ngaka kulumna kuba ama police isole lini ba tada bando ba tat. Atata umbona of tuwe ba ushia ukwata bati mama tenzi umbono kwata lambona bati kasi buza kuo bati lambona une kola kote wona ba utati lambona ba uja jenga namshange atata umbona of tuwe yo ba hamba na unombono shaza nempa sha yoni ba yabantu na bam mnandi pila kushale sato e anando da na bantu na nbonja yo kadi zogo zaba police ase Cambridge utele da zogo zwandi msa zwangu kumende. Ani vanga lendi tetu wa yoma kutu wa kuko le corona varaso kuzanyi Baba nba suke ezi ndalenga biko banda wa kwele nje mba kutu wele hapa Baba nba sale makaya kubo kwa fun baba sule ya kele corona varaso Siza mile kuhishala inyanga Kwa tiwa e TV ine nga zika mga polisa laona Aka ituvuli ni tifa zima melindaba Kwa tiwa aba peka panze ba sale stratoin Ba fumele kile ba udaise umbila Ne ne vezi yonge into sa puma sa zanga pale jengo mteto mteto gungu gungu guzuma uko sa zana zuma sa kesi funu kubuza apa gulendo da ifale la bantu gengala singa ti iti masiti ni soldier ma police na launzo kuhulmete kuhulmete ngazo kuhulmete esi au ishimi noyeto.
Tina, sikuwe pi meko, sikuwe pi direction, singa bantu abashupekele ono skupsa na banga funda anga, si chiwa nga banda bafundi leyo. Gemini entle ma uyuteng si mbone mingapi? Gale mini atate mbona, imi mbona paya, na mshanje, and kubanga nesu kwebe sinye. Gale mini kwa kushaki zi kwebe zi teti, pa ubuta, di fumene 250. Gubanja ningo ukozi nsugu njema gufali, abandu bako nbaya sasa basa tenga, abandu kanyo anbao yi? Abao yi kaka loka desi, boi kaka gufu ubanja, kwa bako tema, abandu bako tema, abandu bako tema, yi 30,000. Enga soze ni kwazi, noe bata. Umtane mnye yi 10,000, umtane mnye yi 10,000. Diza yi tata api 10,000. Kuban pange ili, anane ndota, anane abandu wana bapange la. Kukoshika kodo ma. Now, as you can hear, those are some of the frustrations of some of the traders around here and I think that there is a confusion around the relaxation of some of the regulations because their argument is that um, hawkers who sell fruit and vegetables are allowed to trade and I think the issue here is around millis which is cooked. I think that is where the contention is because they tend to, tend to believe that they should be allowed to trade like everyone else and that they do not have any other source of income. But more importantly, I think that the other point um, that, that is coming across from the ladies here is actually what they regard as harassment by the police where they are millis has been confiscated um, and the way they still go back and saying that because they are hungry, they have no other way but to go back and buy more millis and cook and they risk being harassed by the police, Tammy. Well, thank you so much, Sibu, as you are on the ground. We'll continue touching base with you. And so important to tell the story of different South Africans in different parts of the country.